Hi right, guys. Um, okay, this one's going to be video two of the little how-to series. And this one's just another one I get asked a bit, especially over trolling season or apologic season in summer. A lot of guys run wind-ons, you know, do the double and then attach a wind-on and crimp swivels on the end of the wind-ons. But a lot of, a lot of people don't run wind-ons. I'm 50-50, I run with them and without them, depends how I'm feeling. Um, but the guys that don't run wind-ons just want to run like a three to four meter double, just a nice long double on the end. And they ask me what's the best knot or a good knot to attach the snap swivel on the end of your double. Okay, because you're not running a wind-on, so it's not going to be crimped on. So what I do usually tie and a lot of the game fishermen I spoke to around Australia, we, when they're just running you know, long doubles, we tie a cat's paw. Hopefully you can see that. Well, that's a nice little, nice little knot. Oh, looks good. Nice fancy. And it's very easy to tie. The thing, the thing with cat's paws, are they good? You can use them on heavy tackle, light tackle, everything. And they're just they're so easy to tie. So I'm going to do the, this video. It's going to be a nice short one. I'm just going to show you how to tie a good old catch ball. Okay, and I'll use Dacron so you can follow along. So just imagine this, Look, there's my double in my main line, okay? I'll just tie it in your main line there to a double. So what we do now, what you want to do is make sure your double's the same length all the way, because you, when you tie the knot, you want both lines the same length, you don't want one longer and one shorter, it doesn't work. Okay, down crimp, oh not crimp, but just squash it down. Now, just push it through the eye, okay, just like so. It's just through the eye of the swivel. Now, hopefully you can see this. Now what I'm gonna do is twist one end, make a loop, like so. See that, I twist it around. And now you just separate your double and bring it up. So basically you just make a big loop like so. Nice and easy. Now, just with your swivel, just go through the, through the center of the loop you made. So just go through once, pull it down, then we go through again. Just through all of it. See it's starting to twist together. Now we go a third time. Only do it three times. You don't need to go any more than three times. See, all you've done was put the swivel actually through the loop three times. Now make sure it's the same length. And double, and what you do, obviously on mono you're gonna wet this, then you're just gonna slide it down like so. Just slide it down. See how that's not quite not quite right, one's longer, one's shorter. You don't want that. You actually want them the same length, but for the not pot tying purposes, this is fine. Slide it down until it's nice and snug on the swivel. And there you go, there's a catch paw. That's a very quick, easy knot to tie for game fishing to a attach your swivel to a double okay and that's a good what to show not to do then it doesn't work one looser than the other that's not that's not good bit of practice but anyway that's the knot the knot quite tied perfectly okay so well that's a catch paw um that one's fairly easy to get your head around and use it's quick and easy to tie and works a tree for attaching your swivel to doubles Okay guys, thanks for that one, and well... Well, okay guys, let's tie this catch ball. It's not a hard knot, it's quite easy to follow along. Follow along, so. Got your double there, make sure it's the same length, along. Okay. Now very simply, just go through the eye, like so, of the swivel. You can open up both hands, like now what I want to do is just do a twist. See that? Now I'll bring that loop back over here and open that up. Just makes a nice big loop, okay? Now I'll just go put your saw through one. And spun around quite easily. Now we're going to go through again. Okay, you can see how it's starting to twist. Now just through center one more time, so just three times through, like so. That's it. Look at that. Now we'll just make sure the 
and doubles the same length. Now start sliding down. Obviously when you do this mono, you're going to wet this, so no friction. Make sure it's all the same length. And see how the knot's tying? And you just slide it, on, slide it on down, like so. And so how's that? Quickly tied, easy catch ball. Okay, that's one way to attach your snap swivel to a double. It's just a very quick, easy knot, hold, and just a good all round knot to know. Anyway, guys, um, thanks for this. Thanks for watching this one, and I'll see you in the next video tomorrow. See you then. Bye.